Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. It's Ines Namibia here. If it's your first time joining me, don't forget to subscribe and also please do hit the bell so that whenever I upload any new content content here, you will always be notified. So yeah, today I thought it's been a while that I haven't spoken to you guys and um, we have been so much very quiet. It's not purposely, sorry for that I'm on my phone. So it's not purposely, it's because we have, there was just so much to keep up with. Life itself has just been so busy. So I see my friend was calling me guys, but it's fine. I'm going to talk to her another time. Um, but okay, now let me just call her so you guys can, um, can see, can hear what she's going to say. And the recording of our video, and you are live now on my video. So don't talk now. <laughs> and the recording for for my YouTube channel. No, baby, for for. You go there and get the man. Okay. Bye. So yeah, that was my friend I was talking to. So she's looking for me so badly, and I'm gonna call her after when I'm done. So I got this message. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I, I think I should read it for you guys. I think it's it's about this friendship thing. Uh, friendship here, friendship gone sour. Nobody said friendship was meant to be something that's gonna last for long. I believe even re any relationship in life. It's not something that's going to be lasting for long. Whatever relationship it is, it shouldn't last for, it wasn't meant to last for long. Name. So I came across this video, guys, on Instagram. And then um, it's of this lady, this certain person that we don't even know much in Namibia. Like, okay, we learn to know her through somebody else who is um, an influencer. So we, we learn to, we learn about that other friend of hers through this person so guys so she was talking about how friendship has gone sour and then she's now trying to explain okay i think their friendship has actually gone sour like in the last few like many 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 years or i was no not many years i'm lying it, it can either be over a year or just a few months like that so and then now she's trying to explain we know that they are normal friends right because you know this loud friendship whereby you take pictures together you post here and there and then suddenly you just see that no these people are no more thing about one another obviously you will learn that no there's this friendship something has gone sour it's no more as it used to be all right you get me guys so and then um okay we learned that that now we are no something is not of it's not it's not okay like there is something that actually is wrong in this those friendship but okay we we move life is not about that so we move and then um we move forward so yeah and then now this one because she's burning now from the fact that the friendship is no more uh, as it used to be she comes up always and bring up posts on instagram and stuff and so on ne? unlike and i just believe like like she's like yeah i try to advise her and then suddenly she just turned against me okay let me tell you guys about me and i think that's the advice i'm gonna give anybody that find it to be so um beneficial you might you might actually consider this advice i'm going to give right now this one i'll have how how i think life should be if you guys had a certain type of relationship whether it's boyfriend and girlfriend married couple husband and wife and then uh, maybe um friendship like to the core whereby you go to one another's houses and so on uh and then the friendship suddenly goes sour it is not important and it's not necessary for you guys to go around and start bad, bad mouthing one another because at the, at the end of the day it might be that whatever broke that, that relationship it's not clearly enough but speaking from my perspective i'm a, i'm this type of person if a friendship of ours broke like apart and so on i'm not the person that's gonna come to you and say what what that is not what i don't do that i don't do that because i don't do anybody wrong i will not do you wrong but once you have done me wrong um i know that you no know, when, when when the once once you have crossed a certain type of boundary it ends there and it's not going to be crossed it ends there and that's the end of our friendship or that's the end of our relationship that's why i'm very difficult i'm not easy to make friends with i'm a very nice person soft-hearted like very 
friends with me but i do not make friends with any person but once you are in my circle we need to respect that both me and you because we must respect the fact that you are not going to be crossing my boundaries to the core that like in the in this like in this case like mostly if if i date this certain boy or this, this if i wasn't married now yeah? speaking from now the single perspective if i date this guy it's not it's not fair that you are going to date the same guy that i've been dating before because we are friends friends mean sisters yeah so in the terms of somebody's merit you can have like that if you guys get me right so we, we must have boundaries friendship it's a it's a commitment that need to be put up there and then it must be really a commitment that the both parties have to respect and agree to it but once a certain boundary is crossed then it must actually not be something that one can uh, keep up with because it's better to be harmed or hurt or done wrong by somebody far from you than somebody that is in your circle because that is totally very dangerous and then you find these people that says to you okay when their friendship break they'll be like yeah no if something comes up they'll be like yeah i've been watching you and then you are like sister you are a witch because you have been watching your friend you the friendship was fine along uh, like the whole time suddenly this happened and you're like i've been watching you so you have been fake with me in my past life and this is just a devil that's manifesting it in, within you that i've been watching you unknowingly you don't say that to a person because that's a, actually a biggest biggest red flag it shows how dangerous you are because if you are friends you cannot be watching your friend doing wrong you must tell them that no here i'm not comfortable with this and this so but you must not be watching them and be afraid to confront your own friend that is totally very wrong so yeah that's things i saw on social media and then i thought no no these ladies need some advice but i just thought no it's, i'm not advising because i know that i think i'm perfect i'm just saying it because i believe or i just giving my opinion and i think it might be very useful to one or two persons so yeah otherwise guys in our age like at our age sorry in our era at our age we do we actually need friends why, why are you only you must ask yourself also why are you only making friends in your era like right at this point in your late 20 27 28 in your 20s why are you making friends at that age what happened to your friends that you've been keeping since high school since what if you don't have any you are not the trusted person to make new friends your friends are the ones that you have been having back then so otherwise something is you're not a keeper and nobody's going to keep up with you. So please do take my advice. So thank you so much for tuning in. That was my two cents. And I just um, thought, let me talk about this. Get to the other story that happened on, that I saw on social media. And I think it might come out very useful. Yeah, that's it from me. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm going to see you in my next video. Cheers.